I'm here to tell you the story of how I am now looking for a new car. But first, let me show you some things that led up to that. I am making popcorn, which is one of my very favorite snacks in the world. I've loved it since I was a kid. And I just take one third cooking scoop of popcorn kernels. I love the white kernels. And if you can see where I have the mixed ones, you can kind of mix and match. And then I have some sea salt that I pour in. And earlier I had poured some olive oil in. And then I do some raw cane sugar. So it has kind of this savory but sweet taste to it. And I just do one little scoop of this little wooden spoon, which I love from World Market. And then you kind of just put the lid on and just wait for it to pop. And then you're just going to pop it until you start noticing the kernel slow down. And then you know it's time. is happening um, tomorrow and I was actually out of the country for the last eclipse in 2017 so I saw all the pictures of people wearing the eclipse glasses but I just like didn't experience it and didn't realize how dangerous Loki it is <laughs> to not have the right glasses so I am driving to Warby Parker because I saw online that they are giving them away for free, supplies <laughs> limited. And so I decided to give it a try and see if they still have any more of these glasses so I can safely <laughs> view the eclipse tomorrow. My plan B and kind of what I will probably end up doing is I will um, likely also go to Trader Joe's because it's right there and then maybe I'm gonna sweep my Barnes and Noble and just get some inspiration um, I'm in this moment where I feel this desire for improving but like <laughs> there's so many directions like I made a list in my journal I, I want to get some records I want to go thrifting, maybe find a bread basket. I want to build a fire pit. I want to garden. I want to have an herb garden. And it's just like kind of weighing out all these different desires with kind of like my skill level, my budget. Um, like I looked at this fire pit DIY tutorial and it's not that hard. <laughs> you just go to the store, you buy the pavers, you buy the metal ring you buy the uh, gravel, you buy the sand, you buy the concrete blocks and you do it in the afternoon, <laughs> right? But then I guess my hurdle in that is, oh my goodness, I remember how heavy just one concrete block is and just the thought of going to the store, loading these heavy blocks into my car, then unloading the blocks onto my yard and then getting a shovel, digging up the fresh, brand new grass, and then digging, <laughs> creating this fire pit, and then me thinking, wait a minute, I got a, a charcoal grill, which could be a fire pit for Christmas, and I've used it one time, and I still don't even know how to use it because somebody helped me with it. So I think it's kind of like this baby step moment of, I don't want to forget about my ideas and just get lazy. I, I want to learn, 
but at the same time I think there's other things that I could learn or improve upon that aren't as big of a deal like for example I could get better at learning how to use my charcoal grill and have really great food and then if that's good and I'm understanding how fire works and spending time outside then maybe I could graduate to a more permanent um, fire pit so yeah those are just some things I've been thinking about well they have it I don't know let's see they had them and I grabbed a couple I, I am it. so excited now Yay. and now I'm also gonna go to Barnes and Noble I picked up this little phone stand that can flip and stand so that's cool and found this really awesome paint by number kit at Michael's then on my way home, I found these things on the street and I am rehabbing them. I washed those martini glasses, pepper shaker, this cute farmhouse frame, and meal prepped potatoes, chicken, mushrooms. about the solar eclipse today and it was so much fun to really just give it a try it started with me not sure about getting glasses yesterday but then after that the momentum kept building so yeah i'm still on this high actually from the solar eclipse and now i'm going to orchestra rehearsal so it's been a full day and a really good day and i'm just very thankful for the sun I think we take it for granted very often and don't realize how important it is and how bright it is. So yeah, signing off, going to rehearsal. Where I rehearse, there happens to be this science exhibit, art exhibit in the atrium area. So it has some quirky things there. <laughs> After such a wonderful day, I never would have expected that that was the last time I would drive my car. Well, crazy curveball. Monday night after the solar eclipse, driving back from orchestra rehearsal, I got an issue with my car. It overheated because my sensor went out, which caused my thermostat to overheat and break. And then I it caused a coolant, a radiator leak and a water pump leak, which I didn't know about. So yeah, Monday night I got home. Um, you know, that happened on the way back. There was a burning smell and did some research. And then the next day, a friend helped me get a tow truck to the mechanic and everything was step by step. I didn't have a mechanic. I at first thought I could just put coolant into my car and I thought I'd maybe walk or Uber to a gas station or get a ride or something. And then the, at the mechanic, I thought it would just be a few hundred dollars, fix the sensor, and um, drive it back after a few days. But it turned out to be a bigger issue from because of all I described. And I know there's more life on this car if I did the repair, but it also seemed like, do I want to be spending a lot of money on this car? It's 2008, six, 16 years old, or maybe it's time for me to look for a car. And right now, since my work is highway distance and about half an hour away, I had to figure out what to do about that. Luckily, I was able to ask a coworker who lives close to me to give me a ride and I'm so thankful. And I put the car for sale last night and looking scouring listings for vehicles so yeah that's kind of what's been going on the last few days 
it's crazy how much I take for granted with my car, like even the library. My, my books are coming up, so I actually just renewed them so I have a few more weeks. And yeah, just kind of realizing how much of the car is connected to my feeling of freedom and independence and just the humility of asking for help and of, yeah, just <laughs> this process. So I'm very grateful for my friends and family, but it's definitely been, um, I was definitely very emotional yesterday. Uh, sorry, on Tuesday when I first found out what happened because <clears throat> I made the right decision to take off work to take care of the car, but I really didn't know it was going to be so bad. And um, when I heard the news, it was very unexpected. And so I had a, a wave of emotions that just hit me of, oh my gosh, like my job doesn't pay that well. And how am I going to get to work? And is it even worth it? And how much does it cost to rent a car? And how much does it cost to buy a car? And like just weighing out all the different inf information, which when you're making a decision rationally, that's fine. But um, when there's some emotions involved and it's kind of bad news, that's a surprise it can be hard to think clearly. And so I was really help, very grateful to have other people who could help me make a rational decision who were not emotionally connected, like didn't affect their lives. <laughs> their transportation and life rhythms were not dramatically affected. So they were able to help me process and make decisions. But ultimately I had to make my own decision about every kind of step of the way. And that was also um, that was hard too because, again, people could give me advice, but I'm the one that would have to deal with the consequences of whatever decision I make. So I've caught you up. I don't have a car, but I got this bird bath. In my previous video, I was doing some garden updates and didn't have one, so this one finally came in the mail, and I assembled it yesterday and put it out in the sun today. So yeah. I'll keep you posted. Until next time.